Uh, I'm I'm all in going 400 years back. We got let's just touch on Yoda now because Yoda's a thing, Baby Yoda's a thing. Um, they, I think whatever they do, it's smart to have something at this point anyway. Later on, maybe not, but something to connect us to the stories that we know. And it looks like if they do this High Republic thing, Yoda will be the one. Um, it's also impossible to do any story that takes place within 900 years of what we've seen without Yoda. So do you think, Andrew, I'll start with you, that we are on the verge of the overusage of Yoda? Um, I think it's a very real possibility. It's a possibility I'm not crazy about. I don't want them to overuse Yoda. Um, but it, I feel like it's going that way. And to me, the scary part about throwing Yoda in these movies is that in in my mind, he's going to be used the way Chewbacca was used in Revenge of the Sith, which is poorly um, and patronizingly almost. Um, there, there was, um, I can't remember what I was, I was reading this like comedy piece. It was like a comic or something. I don't know what it was. It was years ago, but it was joking. It was satirical and it was making fun of the prequels doing those things. And they were doing some kind of skit about like George Lucas's original revenge of the Sith script, whatever. And in that scene on Kashyyyk, Yoda is like, hello, Chewba- young Chewbacca. Hello young Han Solo, hello, young Millennium Falcon. And, like, you see all these characters, and, like, the Millennium Falcon has, like, a, that little hat with a propeller on it. <laughs> like, you're, you're talking about Muppet Babies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's that's what scares me about this possibility of a Yoda overuse. Like, just, you know, whatever the plot is of this movie, it's going to grind to a halt halfway through so that somebody can walk into a room and be like, hello, young yoda and then all of a sudden the movie <laughs> like, i don't want that i don't want that at all just ha- have him be uh, like a where's waldo thing have him be like the et guys in the senate like if you're gonna throw yoda in there i i just don't want him to especially if this story is going to be something big and epic that's important to the galaxy i don't want him to get tangled up in that and then all of a sudden it's it, it just feels like he's being thrown in there just because. Brock? Um, <clears throat> talking about Yoda being a main character in this reminds me of that show they did that kind of w- was successful. Uh, Krypton, where it's like Superman's grandfather, but they were able to like rope in like a brainiac, I think, and somewhat of the... Uh, who, who is the villain from Krypton? Uh, Zod? Zod, thank you. Zod's like their their families kind of competing against each other, and like everyone got excited because they I think they put Lobo in there, but then like it was doing well, and then it got canceled. So like it reminds me of that. Uh, I don't know. I I like two years ago someone made a young Yoda picture on on Instagram or DeviantArt yeah. or what, and I think James and I were like, oh, that would be sick. But it's like. Yoda is one of those characters where you kind of don't want to know anymore. It's like, I'm happy with him being the goblin in a swamp. But then I said that about a baby Yoda, a.k.a. little Kevin, a.k.a. whatever James calls it, John Pierre. John John St. Pierre. John John St. Pierre. And now it's sort of like, I'm still, like, I love that we still don't know much about it. And maybe that's fine. So, but, But to go back to High Republic... I think we can have a whole new cast and people will understand it. I think the first couple episodes you're going to have to food and speed us a lot of stuff. But I think Yoda can be like a character like when we were talking about Mandalorian when it first came out. It's like, oh, Boba Fett could be their little ace in the hole in their back pocket. Little did we know that they had baby Yoda in their back pocket. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Like, you know, Mandalorian's kind of proven that you don't need a recur like a uh, existing character i know it's a little hangy but it kind of is like so we can introduce a whole new cast of characters as long as you explain it adequately enough i think it's good but like i think it would be cool if like it was successful sorry is this a movie or series i can't remember movie. anymore okay but here's the thing mm. here's the thing that if Anyway, no, there's something else. I'll talk about it later, I think, because it might not clear. But it might be a movie. 
But yeah, I, I get what you're saying though, Brock. Like if it's a series, then yeah, throw Yada in in part two. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Like if, if if there's like a if this is a trilogy and like in part two, Yoda shows up and basically does the good guy equivalent of everything Vader did in Rogue One. Cool. And then you never see him but, in that trilogy again. But, but. but if we go back and Yoda's only going to be a young 400-year-old in this series, he's not the Yoda that we've ever known. And he's not baby Yoda. So he's, he's this other Yoda that we haven't seen. And the thing is, when you think of the prequels, you know, yeah, Chewie's shoehorned in there, but Yoda makes sense to be in the prequels. Like, Yoda should be in those movies. He should be on that. Yeah. He says, oh, my own counsel I had. That's a very good Yoda impression. Please don't record that and use it as and use it as Frank Oz. But, and I, I think if you go back 400 years, you can easily also do that with Yoda again, where Yoda can just be seamlessly put into that and it won't feel like he's forced in there. It'll feel organic to the plot and the surroundings because the story that they're doing he should be there. Now, there is a way where you'll be like, ooh, they really pushed Yoda in there. But there's also another side of it that goes, Yoda belongs in that time period. If he's this powerful jet, like we've seen baby baby Yoda, if 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 our Yoda and baby Yoda are, like if that species has the same force abilities at a young age, you would think that Yoda would make complete sense to be in this era. Hey, scumbags. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up on our video. As always, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Rebel Scum Podcast, for all the latest videos.